Usually I do my own beard. Um, actually, I think I don't know if I've ever had someone else do my beard. Really? So, oh, yeah. this would be a real treat. Or a yeah. disaster. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Beard Brand fam? Bob the Barber here, headquarters, Austin, Texas. And I got my boy Ryan here who uh, needs to get cleaned up. Let's see how it goes. So, Mr. Ryan. When was the, like, let's, uh, first things first, when was the last time you had a haircut? What you got going on? What are you, what you doing? Probably been, uh, I don't know, since maybe January or February. Um, yeah, I, I buzzed it once. Uh, the wife didn't like that, so I haven't <laughs> like touched down, it. Like just, like just a I, self? It was an eight on the buzz. top and like a three or four on the sides. Okay, so uh, you had a little bit, it was a little bit of a haircut. A little, a little bit, I tried. And then I've done the sides like once, once more um, with like a three. But other than that, just to kind of let it go since probably, yeah. And this is, all, this is all you cut in it yourself. Yeah, correct. Yeah. That's incredible, man. Yeah. How did you enjoy that? It's hard. It's real hard. <laughs> it makes you appreciate it. Yeah, I can yeah. do the sides okay, but the top is, is very hard to do by yourself. So I'm just going to measure it out just to see what we've got going on upstairs. And you got about four and a half, looks like, throughout the, throughout the most of it. So, yeah, this is, oh. a, this is a good, like, eight-month yeah. long grow up, you know, period. Yeah. And... Uh, and you think you want to take it back down pretty short, eh? Yeah, yeah, real clean on the sides. Um, you know, we can leave some length on top to get the kind of swoop over. For um, sure. But yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna touch the beard today as well. You yeah. touch that every once in a while. I do, usually I do my own beard. Um, actually, I think, I don't know if I've ever had someone else do my really? beard. Really? So, oh, yeah. this would be a real treat. Or a yeah. disaster. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, man, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. First off, I think, uh, yeah, well, let's buzz uh, some of this off just to get out of the way and see what this is uh, going to start to look like when it reveals to us. So I got my number three. I heard you say three a couple of times, so I know that you'll be comfortable with that. Yep. Uh, just debulk this real quick. You're telling me that you guys uh, have a birthday party coming up. Yep. Yeah, my daughter uh, just turned three. We're going to celebrate on Saturday. Got the fam coming over, keeping it pretty chill. Yep. Yeah, just going to do barbecue in the backyard with uh, kind of my wife's parents. So Nice. Classic, man. Uh, what you cooking up yourself? Uh, we're going to do, I'm going to smoke a brisket um, and then do some smoked hatch green chili macaroni and cheese on the grill. So. Come on, man. It's lunchtime right now. You're killing uh, us. I, I know. We'll see how it turns out. I've never done the macaroni and cheese. I've done one brisket, so. You've been, you've been grilling for a little while, barbecuing for a while? Uh, not too long. I just got a grill, a pellet grill, um, boy, just a couple of months ago, I guess. Now. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so I've done a lot of things in that time. I did steaks and brisket, turkey, burgers, um, pulled pork, so. It's all turned out really good, but you know, if you're in Central Texas here, I feel like you have to, you have to have a grill or a smoker, and you know, just to fit in. So. It's a uh, yeah, it's man. It's a rite of like passage. A, exactly. Took the words out of my mouth, man. So right now, I'm just uh, cleaning up your neckline, um, following the natural shapes of uh, of your structure, and seeing where the density kind of like falls off. So mm -hmm. you do have a uh, hair that kind of connects. So it looks like I'm being really aggressive right now, but now we're a. Uh, this is a pretty classic, classic territory as far as necklines and whatnot and then uh i'm digging in a line right now before i taper it out i want to see how short we go before i start fading it okay. down a skin like i said just kind of setting up the foundation of this haircut since it's been a little while for you and yeah the first time for me so we, we debulked with the three and a half and now I'm just polishing up a little bit more. I have my favorite guard at one and a half, opened up to about a two, and just uh, taking down these sides ever so slightly using a, a bit of an angle so I don't create too big of a, of a section. Because I haven't decided how short I'm gonna go yet. I wanna see what, how, how this reacts to getting cut. So if I need to leave a little bit more of a ledge as opposed to just going straight up the sides. I can always take off more hair, but it's hard to uh, put it back on when you're in the, when you're in the seat. And plus, you get, you're gonna be taking pictures at this, at this birthday party, man, so That's right. I'm gonna make sure you look I gotta look right. good, yeah. Yeah, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll leave you some 
a decent amount of length today, but we're really lighting it up so it doesn't feel as, mm -hmm. as heavy and thick. Yeah, because you definitely got plenty of it. So now I've already established a, a shorter area and I have an idea of where I'd like that plane to come off of. Like I don't want it to be too snug to his head. He's got a big old melon. He's a tall guy, so I don't want to elongate your head. You know, I want to keep the balance. So keeping some of these sides a little wider, we can achieve that. So right now I've got a, my two guard and I'm just trying to connect some of these, uh, that one and a half to this, this longer stuff up here. So you've seen how, how, react, how this reacts. Some guys with shorter hair, it'll sprout straight out mm -hmm. and, um, and you gotta be careful with that. So since, like I said, it's the first time I'm seeing you, I wanna make sure I'm mm -hmm. being very aware of how, how your hair behaves when it's either really long or really short. Mm -hmm. Trying to find that nice, happy medium. I'm just gonna get some of this long stuff and blend it into the, the sides. That transition right here. So one thing about your texture of hair is, like I said, it's a it's a little deceiving. Mm -hmm. Long, it's nice and flowy and beautiful. Um, as it gets shorter, it starts to sprout out and do some different things. Um, it doesn't help when it's wet either. So I'm gonna blow dry it and just see what it's do what it does on its like when it's not all drenched. Okay. And then we'll just polish it a little bit more. Another reason why I'm a little more tentative on these first haircuts is because this hair right here, your beard hair and your hair hair, mm -hmm. it's very different. And uh, you, I can see already that you have a little bit of a gap right mm -hmm. here. Yep. Um, a lot of us do. Is that mm -hmm. that's where the head hair stops and your beard starts? So I want to make sure I treat this a little differently so that I don't give you like this big yep. hole in your beard. So uh, you know, all my tapers are. A little more gentle at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Trying to be aware of that stuff. Yeah, I've had haircuts before where they didn't recognize that until too late, and they had to pretty yeah. much skin fade it there and exactly disconnect yeah. it. You know, which it looks got some good look too. But. So you said that you uh, you had some sea salt spray already in your in your arsenal. I'm gonna throw a little bit in there, just kind of give it some texture, see what it looks like when it's blow dried, and then uh, okay. Like I said, I'm gonna grab that tree ranger. I'm gonna get some Tree Ranger sea all spray. Okay. Uh, you can see how clear it is right now, and mix it up and uh, start to get opaque. It's kaolinite white clay. It's okay. a very fine ingredient that'll uh, I'll bring up some of those textures and volume to the hair. Like I'm looking at this shape of your face right now. Like I'm looking at how much this beard comes out. Yeah. Like I said, if I were to get it real short, all of a sudden you have a really pointy head and a big wide beard and mm -hmm. trying to look for that, that balance mm -hmm. between the two. Talk about this beard, brother. All right. <laughs> um, so you've had it longer, you've had it shorter. Yep. You uh, you do it yourself. Yep. What do you uh, What do you think about today? What do you What you feeling? Um, kind of like a, a cleaned up, you know. Are you liking the overall shape and length? I do. It's a It's a little bit bushy on the sides okay. for my leg, and so maybe clean a little bit of that up, and then a little bit of length off. I, I want to keep some weight there, um, and then take some of the mustache off, so I'm not. Eating it all the time, but so not eating it. How about these little these little guys that transition into the into the beard? Are you? Uh, we could probably take those take down a good bit. Just kind of yeah. blend them in with everything else. Yep. You don't do anything special with them? Uh, no, not usually. Yeah. I mean, I'll put maybe on like a, a special occasion, I'll put some wax in or something. Nice. Um, as far as cheeks go, um, I am not opposed to keeping your cheeks really natural. Mm -hmm. um, 
it uh, it has a nice stopping point mm -hmm. and it looks the part with the style of beard that you're rocking. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever edge up your, your cheeks pretty sharp? I, I do. Um, I'll usually go to kind of yeah, where that sort of natural line is. But okay. I've Keep done little, both. So a, little, a little higher. Yeah. I'm cool with that too. That's a. Uh, I'll, I'll split the difference with you. I'll, okay. I'll edge it up and yeah, we'll keep it nice and high. Okay. So we tell a lot of guys like go straight for the Adam's apple mm -hmm. when they're trimming their beards. But since your beard is way beyond that and, and you need a little bit of that undergrowth to, to push it out, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go straight back. Okay. So a lot of beards I would typically be confident and aggressive and just like mow it down. But since yours is nice and bushy, we're gonna keep it a little more natural. Mm -hmm. Just coming in. Same thing that we were, the way we tacked your hair, a little bit further out and just bring it in gradually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm trying to pull out this guy right here about an inch off of your face. Mm -hmm. Like I said, just to maintain some of that density so it doesn't look like you have a big old gap there. I like to put that the heel of the clipper along my face and then just imagine that plane you just follow that imaginary line mm -hmm. like you said down with the grain you already you already know all the all the rules Standard comb. Use the top of where that, you know, that line is that you established. Lift it up. And since the tooth is ending right there where that hairline ends, it'll give it a nice natural taper. I usually start about 45 out, and if I need to, lower that angle until you're okay. got the desired shape and length. Soften up this neckline since most of the haircut's pretty soft, also. Mm -hmm. Don't want to have a huge contrast and super tight edge up with rough beard, rough flowy haircut. So, as I comb out the mustache right now, what I'm looking for is the uh, where some of these hairs start to like break up a little bit and some of that where the curl starts to happen. Mm -hmm. I want to maintain some of the length without being in your mouth so mm -hmm. it looks like i'm gonna cut right where that lip is maybe just a tad bit lower though yeah, so i see a little couple little waves right here it's probably mm -hmm. from uh just your own natural wave and then a little bit from the masks that we wear <laughs> so uh now that we got a lot of the bulk down and just that that good foundational shape. Mm -hmm. Throw a little product in it, soften up just one last time, and then we'll just give it one last little polish. Okay. I'm gonna hit you with some uh, some Tree Ranger beard oil, get it down to the skin, soften everything up, and then uh, a quick layer of uh, our utility balm, which will, like you said, give you a little body, a little control. With the, a beard as coarse and as thick and as long as yours, we're gonna we're gonna go about five drops a day. Some of this exposed skin, mm -hmm. that oil will soothe a little bit of it. So we're gonna go ahead and follow up with some, some utility balm. Yeah, we're gonna go, I usually tell guys to get about a thumbnail's worth, but like I said, since we got plenty of it here, it turns into lovely, lovely uh, balm liquid mashup. And then uh, same thing, we'll just get it down on the skin, the roots, and then just pull it through. This is where like boar's hair brushes are really nice because they can uh, 
push that that oil and balm around without damaging the hair. Really spread it out. Now we got some styling balm. Okay. Going a little heavy. Feeling a little generous today. Mm-hmm. So you have this little wave right here. Mm -hmm. Try to push some of that hair the opposite direction, so counteracts it, because mm -hmm. otherwise it just like wants to like shoot it straight to the side. Yeah, that's a good tip. I'm yeah, I got sure the I, I get the same wave. So whenever I put my product in, I try to like you know really? jam it across the, okay. the opposite direction, just to give it a little bit of a little bit of direction. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at Beard